This poor noble here has been asking for loan extensions for half a year now. Well, he's better than the ones who use their position to avoid paying at all. I'm not exactly raking the mirror in here myself, but I feel kind of feel sorry for him. It couldn't hurt to let him off the hook just a bit. Cough, we're all facing tough times as you know. The war is certainly taking its toll. Surely you'd be willing to extend the deadline of the final 20,000 mira for me in light of that. Oh, didn't you hear? Croizant's no longer a part of the war. What? Um, well, certainly couldn't hurt to wait just a bit longer. Please, have mercy on this poor noble. What the heck? How did he, this happen? Anyways, maybe he should... Maybe you should just go fight some random enemies. Man, yesterday took me by surprise. Never expected to run into all those tanks. Oh well, stuff like that's kind of common by now, so there's no point in dwelling on it. Right now I'm more worried about where or not we're going to lose customers thanks to whatever went down. Recipe Fruit Parfait. There's actually a dessert that goes perfectly with our espresso. Colette's a big fan of them. She claims just one bite can fill you with bliss. Why don't you try it for yourself? Colette, can I recruit her? I just finished reading the latest volume of this popular series. Hopefully the next one comes out soon. Would you like to give it a read? I'm sure you'll see right away why it's so popular. The citizens here look as though they've just awoken from the deepest of slumbers. Very well then, allow me to teach them the true meaning of love. This is, it's an emotion that lingers deep within all our hearts after all. Wonder if maybe this guy uh, met Oliver at some point and taught him the ways of being a, a spoony bard. I remember these two. They, get, they deliberately gave us a tough quest just because they could. Rayhart is now under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction, you say? Oh, Ideos, what waking nightmare is this? This simply can't be real. I heard that Lord Eustace was appointed acting head of the Albrea family after the Duke's arrest. What is the meaning of this? Why was he chosen over Lord Rufus? That is a good question, huh? I guess because this place is under the Imperial Army's control, Rufus can't really do much about it. Yeah. Anyways, I better go do Elisa's event. She has no pages or anything, so... I'm glad Duke Alvarez's arrest went as smoothly as it did. I hope Otto can find some peace now. I'm sure he will. Arresting the Duke was never going to give the people of Kellic back what they lost, but it's the most we could do for them. And we've got you and Valmer to thank for that. Without the two of you, the Duke might still be in power right now. Is something wrong? No, no, I'm fine. Don't mind me. She's definitely got something on her mind. Yes. Elisa, if you've got something on your mind, there's no need to keep things bottled up. I'm always here if you need someone to talk to. Typical reading. Well, maybe not that typical. You're not usually this sharp. But you're right. And now that you bring it up, let me ask you a favor. I do not understand the question. Huh? What's going on? I request clarification. You and not my awakener wish to board me? That's exactly what I want to do. Would that be possible? Huh. I don't want to use you to fight or anything like Reen does. Don't tell me you're going to dissect him mad scientist style. I just want to see what it's like inside. Just for a little while, if that's okay. 
Hmm. Is that not possible or something? You said they were secondary contractors. So I was thinking it wouldn't be a problem, but maybe I had the wrong idea. Well, you let the cat in, so you might as well just let a human in as well. You do not. It is entirely possible for secondary contractors to board me. Really? However, only my awakener is able to operate me as intended. There is no comprehensible reason for anyone else to desire access to my interior. What if they wanted to take a selfie? Oh, it's okay. I don't need to operate you, honest. Thanks, Valimar. Can you let her inside then? As you wish. Wait, what? Wait, why'd you bring Reed in there too? Now we're gonna be in an awkward position. I might want to screenshot this. Oh, what? What? No screenshot, just for good measure. Falamar, did you really have to pick this position? Well, I have more than sufficient room for a human and a familiar to ride in comfort, and an extra feeling of dust but an unforeseen demand on available space. I'm afraid there is not much I can do under the circumstances. Oh, you are so lying. <laughs> oh, it's fine. I guess I can make do for a little while. It's kind of weird sitting like this with you, but I guess I am the one who asked for it. I'll live. Well, if you're all right with it, I'm sure not going to complain, but... This is what Valimar looks like on the inside, huh? It's kind of gloomy, isn't it? Well, there's not much point in having the front screen on when I'm not actually fighting. I have it up often enough these days, but honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. I can see outside fine when I need to. Oh, right. It's weird to sit here and think of all the battles you fought with Valimar. When you fought those Alliance Soldats and against Scarlet and Vulcan, you were right where you're sitting now. Even when you fought with Crow. The fights are always different, but the scenery in here doesn't change much. I'm usually so caught up in the fight that I don't really pay much attention to what it looks like inside here. Selene and Valimar have helped me a lot, though. So, I'm getting better at this whole thing. Bit by bit. <sighs> it's just not fair. We're your classmates and your friends. We're supposed to be fighting alongside each other all the way. But you and Valimar always take on the hardest battles. All we can really do is back you up from the sidelines. Uh, this wouldn't be happening if we could just steal a few, a few soul dots and give them to the other party members. Maybe tune the soul dots to specifically work with their weapon styles. That'd be, it'd be nice if we had the resources for that. And to be honest, it's been on my mind for a while now. It bugs me to feel like we're just not doing enough. Oh. So that's why you wanted to see what Valimar looked like on the inside? Yeah. I thought if I could, I'd have a better understanding of what you go through and what it must be like. Looking around, it feels even more isolated than I expected. Lonely, even. Seeing all the things you do from the outside, then seeing what it looks like on the inside, I have to wonder, are you okay with the way things are? Are you okay with putting yourself on the line over and over like this? Shouldering such a huge burden all alone, and even the burden of those lives you weren't able to save? Lisa, I've never once felt like I was fighting those battles alone. You said it yourself, right? I've got all of you backing me up either on the ground or on the courageous. Sure, you're not inside Valimar with me, but I know you all have my back. That's why I can keep fighting day after day. In that sense, it's not so different from our days at Thor's. Well... You don't have to worry about me, Elisa. As long as I know you're all there, and that I can look forward to seeing you again after each operation, I'll fight my hardest, and I'll come home the victor. All I ask is that you keep me in your heart and lend me your aid. Always, Reen. Just don't go doing anything too reckless in here, okay? 
You're really important to all of us. But especially to me, so... I'm already f playing this game on uh, 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 on N3 run, so according to some people, I'm already t too reckless. Alisa. Oh shoot! Is it gonna turn demon mode, and then they're gonna have demons? What is it, Velimar? I have detected an abnormal increase in your heart rates. Maintaining optimal health is ideal. I recommend rest and a medical examination. No, it's okay. We're fine. We're doing... great. Yeah, never felt better. Thanks for worrying about us, Valimar. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder if Valmar is messing with them on purpose. After taking a moment to unfluster themselves, Reed and Elisa disembarked from Valmar. And all while feeling slightly embarrassed and more than a little awkward, they made their way back to Berea hard. Oh gosh, she, she didn't quite hit all oh, five. Uh, well, um, thanks for letting me go inside Valmar with you. It's kind of nice to have a rough idea of what you've got to go through. Huh, you're welcome, I guess. But you might want to teach him to be a little more considerate. Or ignore me, I was just talking crazy right now. No idea how that happened. I wonder what's going to happen to Keldic now. Sure, Duke Albrea has been dealt with, but that's not going to heal the sadness in their hearts. And apprehending his own dad isn't exactly going to cheer Eustace up either. He seems pretty down. I wonder if I can do something to cheer him up. Yes. I've got an idea. Hey Elliot, what do you say we head over to that restaurant in the Central Plaza? Oh, it's notice I have six points this time. Hmm. No, I still have to. I have to use five of them up on the uh, on the more special members. But then my sixth one, who could I, I could probably spend on Sarah? And which one? The one uses his uncle runs. I think it might cheer you up, just cheer you up a bit. Deciding that this was the best way to cheer him up, Reen brought Elliot to the Sorcery Restaurant. Once there, they received special permission from Eustace's uncle to go to the VIP floor. What a beautiful melody. That piano's <laughs> been in several music magazines, you know. She looks like a generic NPC, though. Oh, so she's famous? That explains how her music manages to resonate so well. Only the pros can manage that. Of course, the same goes for you, Elliot. Huh, what? No way. Just hearing her play makes me realize I've still got a long way to go. The world of music really is deep. Your mom was a pianist too, wasn't she? Yeah. I remember how she used to play all sorts of stuff for us. She'd always play something fun and lighthearted for me and Fiona whenever we were down. It worked like a charm, always cheered us right up. I bet she did the same for Dad, too. Thanks, Reen. I can see why you brought me here now. You want to remind me that music has the power to inspire and help people move on, right? Uh, guilty. It's just a shame I couldn't do with my own performance, really. That would've been cool. Sorry for us uh, for sucking. Uh, don't be so hard on yourself, Reen. In fact, you've helped me realize that there's still something I can do for the people of Keldic. Now I just need a time and ideal opportunity. Give us a shout when that time comes, okay? We'll gladly help you out. Hey. Right, I think it's about time I had to go at it myself. Listening is nice, but nothing beats actually playing. Works for me. Uh, I really wish they had a infinite bonding point DLC. It would make them so much money, so they might as well just do it. If they did it, then all the new players showing up would just uh, pay, uh, would probably pay out of pocket just so they could get every one of these. Seriously. 
Knowing Elliot went back down after setting his heart on playing, Reen asked him and the pianist for permission. Fortunately, they were more than happy to agree, and everyone in the restaurant was soon able to enjoy a special performance from him. Unsurprisingly, he played on part of the pianist before him. Both Reed and the customers couldn't help but be fully enchanted by the wonderful sound of his music. One Elliot strength end. Cover and art support. Hey, playing piano in a big fancy restaurant like this is really a dream come true. Maybe feel like maybe there is something I can do for the people of Celtic after all. Thanks for bringing me here, Reen. I feel so much better now. Do you have anything to say? Recent events have been rare and selling for us all. I just hope my music can sue for customers' woes. I was hoping she'd say something about Elliot. Oh well. One of the bonding events will require me to activate the event at Duke Alberea's mansion. Fortunately, this will n not cancel any of the other events, but I'll still need to go there at least once. Well, this certainly is a surprise. I never expected a master and lady to return on such short notice. Uh, it's a relief to know they're well. The children should be able to rest easy now. Good day, we've received word to let you all pass. I expect Eustace Alberia to be inside the moment too. Just in case I should save here. Alberia Family Mansion is currently under our control. I have to say though, it's rather nerve wracking for us to be stationed in such a noble dominated area. There's no need for you to be concerned of course, our presence won't alarm the citizens as much as the armored divisions would. The sight of this place never ceases to amaze me. Both the Duke and Scarlet are being held here, I think. Might as well. Let's see. So shiny. And the butler still gets gets to keep his job. That's a relief. Really... This is incredible. It's not as grand as Valflame Palace, but I doubt you'll find many mansions this fancy. The Duke's residence is certainly befitting of his status. You came after all, Reen. Sadly, I, w I won't be able to save over your bonding event. Yeah. I was kind of hesitant to come and visit in case I got in your way, though. I'm saving the spare one for Sarah this time. Hopefully she also she doesn't turn out to be a member of Ouroboros in disguise or something. That would... Then it turned out just like what happened with uh, crow, uh, the bad Cromance. No, it's fine. Everything is largely settled here now. I will leave the rest to you, then. As you wish. Leave everything to us. And we will strive and make things as comfortable for your father as possible. You have my thanks. He's Captain Clare's adjutant, isn't he? Indeed. I'm quite a skilled one at that. He and his men will be managing the mansion together while keeping my father in custody. At least until the war comes to an end. Somehow, how, I wonder if Duke Albrea is just drinking himself silly right now. That'd be pr nah, I don't think they'd let him drink up that much alcohol. Oh, right. <laughs> There's no need to look so glum. He deserves to answer for his crimes much like others. He should be grateful he hasn't been handcuffed and thrown in a cell. <laughs> I guess that's one way of looking at it. Oh, yeah, Scarlet's here too, right? She's currently receiving treatment in the Annex. She remains bedridden, but her life is in no real danger, or so I hear. Dang, did I really smack her Kestrel that hard? 
That's good. If you'd like to speak with her, you should go and pay her a visit. Meanwhile, I'll be going to my room to get ready for departure. If you need anything at all, feel free to come by and see me. Thanks, Eusis. Will do. Hmm. I don't know where to Wait start. A sec. Where is his room anyway? That's probably what Reen was thinking. I don't even know where to start. It's so huge. I don't know where the Annex Scarlet's in is either. I, I guess I'll have to ask someone. Huh. There's still a, a, a mandatory event here. Duke's Quarters. Yo, butler guy. My apologies, but His Grace has firmly expressed that he does, does not want to meet with anyone at the present time. I must ask you to turn back. Of course, sorry to disturb you. Yeah, I'll save that for another time. Ah, uh, some of these rooms just won't work. Oh, hello, are you looking for Lady Scarlet's room? It's quite far down the corridor on the Annex's first floor. Thanks. How do I get to the Annex, though? Uh, my apologies. Turn left here and make your way out to, into the courtyard. There's a path on the right side of the fountain, which, if you follow, will... I think I understand where you go now, and that's going to be a really long walk. Uh, I better save first. The, the day doesn't officially end until I go to the airport, apparently. Okay, visit. The one the guard's in, huh? Be you. Did you come to listen to me whine and complain about you? I know you didn't want me to save you, but you don't have to hate me for it. I was just joking. I don't care what happens to me. Whether I live or die or get executed as a terrorist, what happens, happens. <sighs> Stop being so flippant about the whole thing. But you seem to be a little more cheerful than I was expecting you to be. I'm glad. Well, it sounds like you're doing all right, at least. That's good. My only complaint is that I wasn't allowed to ascend to heaven like I wanted to. But perhaps this is just how it was meant to be. I wish I could tell you. You said you used to be a sister, right? You mentioned something about training over in Arteria, too. I did. Though that training was a long time ago. That really takes me. Wait, back. are you willing to? Are you really willing to spill all the beans on the on the girls' ritter? So that wasn't a lie. Uh, sorry, it wasn't that I didn't believe you. I, it's just. Hmm. I'll have you know, I grew up in one of the most pious families in the country. Hard as that may be to believe. I was so so happy when I was first invited to join the church. I doubt you'd know, but the church is a fairly complex organization with plenty of divisions within it. The part I was invited to join was an organization called the Congregation for the Sacraments. They're a group full of immensely skilled people who take on some unique missions, to put it mildly. <laughs> it made me happier than you could imagine to be recognized by people like that at such a young age. I didn't have any special abilities of my own. But I left home, trained my hardest, and eventually became a squire. A squire? As in a kind of knight? I thought you said you became a sister. 
Unless you're saying the church has knights too. Ugh, I'm getting confused now. <laughs> Anyone would be in your position. Their image of the church begins and ends with priests and mass. As it was, my days in Arteria came to an abrupt end. Just before I went out on my first mission, I got word of what had happened. I hurried back to Erebonia as fast as I could, but I was too late to do anything. Lady Scarlet, I think you should get some more rest. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you strain yourself. You really are a softy. <laughs> if you want to hear the rest, you'll have to come back another time. So, if you're interested. It's hard to imagine someone going from being a sister to a terrorist, but that's just what happened. I'm still convinced that it would have been a waste for her to have died back there. I'm glad she seems to have calmed down for now. I'll have to come back another time to see how she's doing. Okay, might as well see what Eustace's event is like, plus he has something I need here. Uh... Imperial Car Yearly. Wow, this thing has so many new models in it. This coloring might actually work well on the bike, come to think of it. Wind coloring. Yeah, depending on how his goes, I may want to keep it. Ugh. Dang it. I need more bonding points. The RMP should be able to take care of the mansion for the time being. Perhaps there's a chance for me to take one of the horses out for a final ride before I leave. That sounds kind of fun, actually. Yes. Mind if I join you, Eustace? I haven't even seen any of your family's horses since that race we had. Not at all. That gives me an idea, in fact. Come with me. Huh? Where? Don't tell me he's going to do something like... Uh, uh, make, have him race with the bike while I race with a horse just to kind of f switch things around. Reen brought one of the horses from the Albrea mansion while Eustace rode another. The guard they set up on horseback towards Orox Canyon, with Eustace taking the lead. Oh, huh, this is where we had a duel before, isn't it? Why did we come out here? You want another duel? Draw your sword, Reen. I'd like to request another duel of you. Eustace. Do you remember what you told me during our field study here? You claimed that there was something honest about the way I fought. And that was because I learned my swordsmanship from someone I trusted. I did, didn't I? My trust in my brother has not faltered. However, because of that trust, I fear that when the time comes to fight him, my sword will be hindered by the hesitation. I dread the day I will have to turn my blade upon my own brother. I'm not proud of it, but that's how it is. I can hardly blame you, Eustace. Anyone in your position would feel that way. Perhaps, but that's why I'd like to face off with you, Reen. Whether I win or lose, I believe our duel will allow me to cast away my doubts. And through that, I should be able to better trust in my own convictions, regardless of whom I may face. I realize that this is a somewhat selfish request, but please, this is important to me. Huh. Am I even allowed to say no after that speech? It's not often you ask for favors like this, either. So sure, let's go. Just know that I won't be holding back. Hit me with all you've got. With pleasure. Plus, Reed and Eustace began their duel, putting all of their strength into the battle. They cleared their heads of all distractions, they're focused purely on trying to be the victor. With that, the fight continued until... Pant. I don't think I can move another muscle. Neither can I. Even in real battles, it's not often that I fight to the point of exhaustion. I think it's because we can read each other so well we're able to fight to this point, really. 
Granted, I could see Master Kafai and Viscount Arce keeping it up the whole day without getting tired or bored. We're not alone, but I think we did pretty well for a couple of teenagers. <laughs> Agreed. It was fun in our own strange way. Thank you, Reen. I feel as though I can go f now go forth and fight with that same honesty yet again. I may have been taught by Rufus, but it was Class 7 who helped me to further develop my skills. Don't need to thank me. I'm just glad you were honest with me and asked. So here, that was beyond awful. Heh. <laughs> okay... Back to... Town then. Afterwards, they somehow managed to summon up the energy to gun their horses and return to Berea hard. Thank you for joining me, Reen. I feel as though I can finally put faith in my swordsmanship now. So let's keep moving forward without fearing whatever future awaits us. Anything to say about the situation? Oh, are you looking for Lord Eustace's room? Please turn to right here. I'm already, I already went there. Uh. Wonder what the Duke is gonna do about this. And no going through any of these doors. They're just duds. They're only there for show. They're just painted on. Okay, time to go back to the city where I can continue doing bonding events. Let's see, I have not done... I need to do Emma's next. Where's Celine? Oh, all the way at the store. So that's a lot of people. Oh. What a peaceful place. It was during our field study, of course, but it's nice to see that that's still a case. This piece could be a recent development, though. These past few weeks might not have been so kind. They certainly haven't been kind of useless. Still, there's not much we can do now except rest and recover, and we need it. This does seem like a nice enough place to rest, to be honest. Yes. Hey, uh, would you mind if I sat with you for a while? Not to steal your idea or anything, but this does seem like a nice spot to take a break. Hey, I certainly thought so. Please, make yourself comfortable. It's nice and quiet here, not too cold either. I don't think I've been able to sit back and relax like this in a long time. My eyes feel so heavy, must be more tired than I thought. Looks like he's actually gonna land on her lap or something. Reen? Z. Looks like he fell asleep. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, he must be exhausted after Oryx's fort. In that case... Lap pillow! Hmm? Oh, he must have fallen asleep. On something nice and comfy, no less. Hmm. Hello there, sleepyhead. Emma? Whoa! Emma? Why was I on your lap? Huh, do you sleep well? Best sleep of my life. No, don't change the subject! Well, uh, let me apologize. I really didn't expect to end up sleeping on your lap like that. Uh, I'm the one who put you there in the first place, so don't even think about apologizing. I couldn't leave you to sleep on a cold, hard bench, after all. One of my duties as a witch is to support you. Just think of this as another form of support. That's kind of a stretch. Hey, I would appreciate it if you let me do this much for you, at least. It's all thanks to both you and Valimar that Berea Hearts regained peace. In fact, I believe we've managed to come as far as we have thanks to your efforts. I don't know about that, Emma. You're forgetting that I had all of you. I've been able to push myself through all this only thanks to the people who chose to stick by me. Besides, I never would have come across Valmar in the first place if it weren't for your guidance. You think that much of us, Reen? Well, yeah. We've still got a long road ahead of us, right? That road will eventually lead us to Crow and Vita. So sorry, but you're stuck, still stuck with us, Emma. We need your support now more than ever. Hey, I can live up with that. I'll do everything in my power to help, both as your friend and as your class president.
Why have I strengthened? I intend to keep doing what I can for Class 7 as its president. And what I can for you as the witch tasked with guiding you. Hopefully I'll be able to make myself useful in both regards. What the? As soon as I approached her, she just walked that way. I wonder why Laura's going out to the canyon alone. I know she can handle herself just fine, but still. Spend time with Laura. I've got some time in my hands, so let's go check on her. That was an odd way to start. Laura? Is she practicing? What? I did not expect this. I thought she was going to fight monsters or something. Ha! Also, when did she get time to change her swimsuit like that? Was she wearing it underneath? Laura! Hey, are you alright? Why would you jump in there when it's this cold out? Oh, I see you've come along too, Reen. There's no need for concern. It's cold, but refreshing. What if there's piranhas or leeches? She seems like she's okay. I know she's used to winter swimming. We're at the coldest part of the year right now. Does she want to clear her mind or something? That raises the question of what could be troubling her. Don't tell me she's gonna make me swim too. Who? Laura finally came ashore after spending a little more time in the water. Realizing she would be freezing, Reen made sure he had a towel ready for her. Huh, <laughs> my apologies. Perhaps it was a bit much to try my hand at swimming during this time of year. It really was. Is something up? I know you're fond of swimming, but doing something like this isn't out of the blue isn't like you. Burr. See? Sorry, but you're going to have to let me dry your hair off at least. Very well then. Having dried off her hair, Reen left Laura to finish drying off otherwise and get changed. In the meantime, he headed back into town to grab her something warm to drink. Thank you for your consideration, Reen. I'm, I've warmed up plenty now. See, it was worth me fussing over you. Want to head back to the Courageous? You could catch a cold if you stay out here. No need, I'm fine. As you know, I'm used to this. I'd like to apologize for worrying you, however. Well, I wasn't too worried. It's you we're talking about. So, uh, did you bring that swimsuit from Fours or something? Yes, actually. I found my luggage after leaving. I used it often during the time Emma and I spent in Legram 2. Sounds fun when I say it out, well, funny when I say it out loud, but swimming has always been a way for me to wash away my concerns and hesitations. Of course, Emma had a similar reaction to yours whenever I did. It's not funny at all, really. I get what you mean. As a noble, I found myself thinking a lot about what happened over here in this province. It is true that what Duke Albrea did to Celtic is beyond unforgivable. However, one could also argue that he never would have employed such tactics if war had never broken out. It's clear from his, that his position in both the Four Great Houses and the Noble Alliance is what drove his actions. <laughs> you may have a point. There's no guarantee that any other noble wouldn't have ended up doing the same. What's funnier than what you said is that I'm technically a noble too, but I've never even thought of things like that before. Hey, we still have a long way to go. Not just in swordsmanship either. It doesn't benefit us to single-mindedly dedicate ourselves purely to that. So I feel that if we're able to make it through this, we will be so much stronger thanks to the experience. One who rides above every challenge life throws my way, both as a swordsman and a noble. Naturally, that involves trusting in others rather than attempting to deal with those challenges alone. Perhaps you're an ideal partner to keep me in check, Reen. Um, Laura? I didn't mean anything special by that, mind you. It's just that since you also happen to be a swordsman, we should strive to motivate each other. I'm curious to see where we can go from here. There are many incredible warriors taking part in, this, in the war, but, but together I believe we can catch up to them. And just maybe we'll be able to reach the strength of the Lance Maiden herself. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing just how far our swordsmanship will take us.
The, t the two talked for a while longer before deciding to walk back into town. Sorry for troubling you, Reen. Huh, <laughs> don't worry about it. Just make sure you don't end up catching a cold or anything, okay? Uh, duly noted. Oh, maybe I'll make myself some hot tea when we get back. Well, I guess everything worked out for the best back there. Even if the society's plans are still a big scary blank right now. I'm trying not to think about it. The important thing is we brought a little more peace to the Berea heart. I just hope the Duke and Scarlet show some signs of repentance. Speaking of which, I was surprised at the way you saved that terrorist. You're probably the first person ever to use their knight like that. Hmm, there's something impressive about you, Reen. Come again? Cough, you heard nothing! Sundari cat, time to relax. You should probably follow my lead. Trust me, you're gonna need your energy soon enough, so might as well get as much of it back as you can. See anything? Let's see, I need to talk to Milliam next. Alright. Hmm, which one do I want? Hey Milliam, never pictured you as the bookstore type. What are you looking for? I'm not. I just want a good book for making sweet stuff. After all our hard work, I thought it'd be nice to make a treat for everyone. Wow, that's really thoughtful of you. I'm sure the others would be thrilled. It's kind of surprising to hear that she fought this up out of the blue, too. Hey, just you wait. You guys are going to love it, wherever it is. No promises I won't eat it all up before you get the chance to try it, okay? It might be too delicious to resist. As possible as she's being, I'm kind of nervous about letting her cook on her own. Yes. What do you say to letting me be your uh, your so chef on this one? Uh, if you want, I get to order you around, and you'll you can't get in my way, or you will suffer the consequences. Deal? Uh, you got it. No idea where our confidence is coming from, but now I can make sure she doesn't blow anything up. Before we start by deciding what we want to make first. <laughs> After some deliberation, the two settled on making an apple tart. They made a quick supply stop in a store in Berea Heart and then headed to the Courageous' kitchen, rolled up their sleeves and got to work. Hey ya! Careful, Milliam! Look, this is how you're supposed to hold it, see? Uh, why are you always cramping my style? Cooking's all about heart, and I've got tons of that. Well, you're going to stab me in the heart if you don't stop branching that kitchen knife like a deadly weapon. Uh, my arm's going dead. Can I stop whistling this now? Sure, if you don't want it to rice properly in the oven. Come on, stop wagging and concentrate, and no tasting until it's done. Uh, fine, fine. Full speed whisking ahead. Great, now we just need to wait for it to cool. Ooh, I'm just so excited. Is it ready yet? It's been less than a minute. Washing over and supporting Million proved to be no small task. Thankfully, the apple tart was successfully completed. Yay, we're finally done! And look how nice it looks. It's really magical what can happen when you don't use, use salt instead of sugar. Oh, uh, why do you have to ruin the mood moment by bringing that up? Still, thanks for all the help. You're welcome, it was fun. This idea kind of came out of left field though. When I think of you, I think of destruction, not creation. Any particular reason why you decided to make something for a change? I know, I just kind of I just feel kind of something. Like, it's hard to describe, but I've got this weird tightness in my chest that won't go away. I think it first showed when I saw what happened to Keldic. It's got me all restless. I always feel like I've got to do something. It doesn't matter what 
as long as I do it. I was hoping the feeling would go away when we caught Duke Albrea, but that didn't happen. If anything, Yusuf having to arrest his dad only made things worse. Any idea what I've got, Dr. Ring? I know exactly what you've got, and it's not anything unusual. It's called sadness. Everyone feels it sometimes, but I guess this might be the first time you have. So that's what this is. Huh, neat. I had no idea. I've never felt it like this before. It's kind of out of character for me, though. Personally, I think this might actually be a good thing. It's a sign that you're growing and maturing. As a person, I mean, not as an intelligence agent. I'm growing? Sad things happen. It's a fact of life. But it's by overcoming those things and moving past them that, that we can grow as people. So don't be ashamed of how you're feeling. There's no reason to hide it if you're sad. You matter too much to do that, your, to, to, that to yourself. You really think so? Hey, okay. I'm still not totally sure how to deal with how I'm feeling right now. But thanks for talking to me about it. Their sad conversation complete, Re and Million put the finished apple tart in the fridge to share with the rest of their friends later. Afterwards, they both left the Courageous and returned to Berea Hard. <coughs> Thanks for helping, Reen. That probably would have been a big pain to both if you weren't there. And now we can treat everyone later. Ugh, and now I'm starting to feel like I shouldn't reload! <laughs> no! I did not know Sanji here. George was absolutely determined to have me do his shopping for him. How cruel, you can at least give me enough time to take a couple of ladies out for a celebratory ride, but alas. And with scenery like this, it'd be the perfect spot for a ride. Peaceful too, given the flames of war have finally died down. Be as it may, this province's troubles are far from over. Their lord was taken under arrest, after all. With all the changes around here, things won't be quiet for quite some time. I guess you're right, they can't stay under an Imperial Army's jurisdiction forever either. But it's not like Rufus looks like he'll be back here to take on his father's mantle anytime soon. The people of Croizid aren't the only ones at a, cr a, cr a crossroads either. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm still kind of hoping that by the time this war is all over, I'll find my own path too. I think I'm in the same boat. Uh, anyways... Sarah should be in the inn. Uh, th this place has really expensive stuff, but it could be a while before I can actually afford any of it. Or have an Abyss Shadow. For some, if I ever need to use a slow member, this will make up for the speed. Uh, hopefully I can find one in a dungeon to save me a few <laughs> items. So was there a student who was supposed to be working here? Yeah, Colette. How's it going, Reen? Not bad. You're looking cheerful, Colette. And packing up too. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, it's time for me to jump aboard and help you guys out. Just finishing up storing everything out right now. Thanks, Colette. We're more than glad to have you helping us out. Thing is, though, I don't exactly see all the sorting out I have to do being done by the time we all take off. It'd be rude to fly off s w without saying goodbye to everyone, too. Would you mind picking me up next time you stop by Berea Hard? Oh, so you won't come with us immediately? That, that way I'll be forced to remember it, and I just might forget and leave you here forever. Not at all. It gives me time to meet it with everyone else, too. Oh well. Next time. Hey there, Reen. Oh, hi there, Destructor. Are you feeling a little better now? Hey, feeling just fine. Thank you very much. So I might have overdone it a bit against those guys. Still, at least I was able to see you kids off like a good teacher should. No regrets here. Instructor. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. I might be here resting, but you look like you should get some rest yourself. 
She's always thought she would tell us a, much about her past, but she might actually be making an exception this time. Would you mind if I stayed here and rested a bit with you? I'd be, I'd even be happy to join you for a drink or something. Water, I guess. Really? Hey, you're gonna be rolling in the bars, chatting up the ladies like a pro soon the way you're going. Just take a seat there. I'll get you a little something fancier than water on me. Whew, this hard liquor fights back. Gotta pace myself better. Can't chug them because they're too strong. I'm free street to sheets to the wind before, before I know it. It's better than nothing, but I'll take a good beer or cider any day. Uh, I'm struggling with this cocktail personally. Feels like I'll get drunk from it even though there's no alcohol in it. Well, hey, that's just one of the appeals of drinking. I'll make sure to teach you how to savor it once you're old enough. Same way both my superior and my friend did for me back in the day. Was that back when you were part of the Northern Jaegers? Yep. Grand, they both kicked the bucket a long time ago. Oh, I'm sorry. Eh, this operation brought back a lot of memories. <clears throat> Some of them bad, but plenty of good ones too. Getting by back then was a real struggle. Felt like no matter what we did, nothing ever got any better. You came from Northambria, didn't you? The salt pillar. Seems like life there was a lot more brutal than I could have ever imagined. Would you mind if I ask just when you decided to join the corpse? <coughs> Couldn't tell exactly when. It felt like as soon as I knew what was going on around me, I had a gun in my hands. Not like there was much else you could do to earn a living around there. They said it was a nice place till the North Ambrian disaster struck around 20 or, or so years ago. I only got uh, go back once every few years now, mainly to pay my respects. Where did that salt pillar even come from? I see. Don't tell me it was an alien or something. Maybe everything Ouroboros is doing is because they want to gain enough power to take on some evil alien threat. It was the kind of place where death would follow you wherever you went, really. And I wasn't ex any exception to that. I've lost many people who are important to me. One day they were there, the next they were gone. It wasn't until six years ago that Beatrix, well, Colonel Beatrix back then, saved me. After that, I cut all my ties and headed down the path to becoming a bracer. You all know the rest after that. I guess we do. I don't even know what to say. I can't imagine leading a life like that. <laughs> yes, indeed. You won't find many heroines as tragic as me. But, well, what happened at Oryx Fort made me realize something. Turns out I hadn't completely cut my ties to that place. Crossing blades with old comrades was more, more painful than I expected. Maybe it's selfish for me to say, but I wish it weren't. Heh, <laughs> guess this just shows I've still got a long way to go as an instructor. There's still so much I want to teach you so you can make it through all this, but... I probably wasn't cut for a job to begin with, you know? I have to respectfully disagree with you there, Instructor. We've learned a lot from you, both individually and as a class. The things you didn't te specifically try to teach us e either. We learned those simply through observing your actions. Like what? Take what happened at Oryx Fort. Your actions taught us that fighting for the people and the country you love can be painful at times. We saw it in your willingness to cross blades with those you once knew. It shows what it means to truly be truly determined. At least that's what I got out of it. And I'm certain that we'll one day have to show that very same determination. Huh. That's why we'd like you to continue teaching us from here on out. In fact, we need you to. I can't see us taking back force without your experience and guidance, let alone getting through the crow. Wow, look at you, Reen. <laughs> the teachers become the student. Talk about cliches. I get it, though. If you're that insistent, then I'll make sure you all get the best education possible. As your instructor and as your comrade. Long Star Strengthened. 
I need to get her to, I need to get her level six so she I can get her final event. You can battle keep fighting with you guys. Both of their instructor and as a part of class seven. So I'm really impressed when I look at how much you've grown in such a short period of time. Uh Fee, what's going on? Why are you sitting here wearing only one sock? It's the soul the sole of one of my boots came off while I was walking and now my foot kinda hurts. So I'm taking a break. Well, after all those boots have been through, I can't, really can't blame them for giving up the ghost like that. Is your foot gonna be okay? Wanna cast a terror or all spell on it? Once I'm, I press it a bit, sure. Oh, get that boot fixed up after that. You can just keep walking. Wait, how does she think she's gonna get to that tailor without footwear? She's just gonna roll down the hill? I guess I better carry her. Okay, foot's feeling a lot better now. Off we go. Hold up, Fee. You're not actually planning on walking with your foot like that, are you? Might as well, I'm used to this kind of stuff anyway. Well, maybe so, but you still shouldn't be walking around on it like that. What if you step on something sharp on the way? What do you want me to do then? Piggyback! So I guess I'll be the gallant knight here. Here we go. What's up? Did it start hurting again? I'm fine. Just kind of amazed, really. Didn't think anyone else would have offered a piggyback ride in that situation. Huh? Don't worry about it. It's the store we go, my steed. Sorry, but the Pony Express stops here. Upon reaching the tailor, Reen asked them to fix up Fee's shoe for her. They were told it would be a quick process, so they had to uh, look around the store in the meantime. Oh hey, they've got Stregas here. You're pretty fun in this brand, aren't you? Sure am. Seems like they've only got formal wear here, though. With enough for buying some new sneakers if they had any. I don't see you prancing around formal wear anyway, to be honest. How long have you been a fan? Since you were in Zephyr? Yep, the boss bought me a pair for helping out with something. That was the second present he gave me, in fact. Oh, what was the first then? The name, Clausel. That's a present I'll never let go of either. There's no one else in the world who can give me that, after all. I know how you feel. Dad welcoming me as a proper member of the Schwarzer family meant the world to me. So yeah, let's keep our appreciation for that close to our hearts. Speaking of things from the past, I was actually reminded of the boss when you were giving me that piggyback ride. Huh? He did the same thing for me not long after bringing me to Zephyr. Stuff like what, what, stuff like that's what made him feel like he was actually my real dad. Fee, there's something else I realized too. You remind me of the boss, but you're not actually him in the end. Just like Class Seven isn't the same as uh, the same family Zephyr was. Even though both are important to me. I'm not the same person I was back then either. I don't want to sit around and be protected all the time anymore. Yeah, that's right. We're all in this together, Fee. Supporting each other is the obvious way to go. Yup, I'm going to use what I learned from my old family to do just that. Thanks, Reen. Uh, not at all. It took a little more time before the order was ready, so the two wandered the store for a while longer. Once it was, they saw that Fee's shoes were as good as new. <laughs> you guys and Zephyr are very different families, but you're both important to me. And I'll do whatever it takes to keep my family safe. Next up, Gaius. He's at church. It's good that we were able to put an end to the issue of Eustace's father. But the winds that blow through this nation grow more tempestuous. So I'm here to pray that they might finally calm, at least a little. 
I could probably use a little prayer right now. Yes. I think I'll join you, actually. So this, this is kind of a weird request, but while we're here, will you mind teaching me how people pray in Nord? Sure, shall we move up a little then? That should do. Praying like this kind of makes me feel in tune with the wind as well. Huh, well it is a traditional Nord way of prayer after all. They say that doing so calls forth the voices of the spirits and ideos in order to rid the world of disaster. Of course, how that actually works isn't really explained. Huh, I see. It's kind of frustrating to know that all we can really do right now is pray. Reen? Well, it's worth wrought about so many sacrifices at this point. Whether it be the innocent victims or the soldiers who fell in battle. But in the end, there's nothing we can do to stop that. Kellogg's proof enough of that. That's why I can't help but feel so frustrated at myself. I understand what you mean. I felt the same during my time in Nord. There's simply nothing we can do in the face of such a powerful storm. That doesn't mean we should stand by and idly as we watch the destruction. I know that. But it's just... No one person can make their way through life without help. No one can cover every need, every eventuality. But that's okay, because mankind shows its great strength through banding together. Hmm? Those are the words of an old traveling priest who used to visit Nord a long time ago. In the end, there's only so much we can do alone. However, by accepting this and working together, people can overcome any trial they face. My time of class 7 led me to believe this is what he meant. Huh. You're not alone, Reen. You have me and the rest of class 7, not to mention many other comrades with you. Well, so let's do what we can to prevent any more tragedies like Keldic from happening. You're always so confident, Gaius. <clears throat> uh, maybe I should take a few pointers from you. This doesn't change the fact that we've got a tough road ahead of us, though. But knowing I've got all of you by my side makes me confident we'll pull through. I feel very much the same. Let's walk down that road together, then, and take back our home. Right. Leveled up. That traveling priest's word live on within me to this day. We can't do much alone, but that should never stop us from trying. If for no reason to prevent what happened in Kelly from ever happening again. Alright, after that is... I'm sorry, I lose track. Machias. Uses his recent actions have me thinking. <laughs> My far step from the path of righteousness, would I be able to do the same thing as Yusus did? Would you? I don't even want to think about it. It couldn't be have been easy for him, of course. It'd take a lot of strength to stand to your fire like that. I'm sure having our support is helping him make it through. You might not say it, but I think he appreciates us being here. You might be right. Aside from our support helping him, he's so full of himself that he's bound to recover once his ego reinflates itself. On that note, I have so shopping to do. I uh, wouldn't want it to show too much compassion, would we, Machias? What can you be here to buy, though? Spend time. Where are you here to buy, anyway? Flowers for some special occasion? That's one way to put it, actually. Actually, while we're, you're here, mind helping me choose? I thought it'd make him happier if you did. Uh. The Garari and Machias made their choice. And walked to the North Croizen Highway. This is Star Bridge, right? Is there any reason you brought a bouquet, Machias? It's my way of paying my respects. 
This lake flows towards Celtic, so I guess here will do. It's for a market manager, isn't it? Well, yes, I owe him a lot, after all. It's because of him that we were able to avoid being noticed by the provincial army during our time in Keldic. I don't think Class 7 would uh, ever would have been reunited if it weren't for his help. It's frustrating knowing that we'll never be able to pay him back. This is the best least I can do for him. Machias. It was the anniversary of my cousin's death the other day, too, but I wasn't able to visit her grave. <coughs> I couldn't with how things are at the moment, but it's the least I can do for her too. Oh, was it? What exactly are you planning to do with the bouquet? The guys taught me about a Nord way of paying respects to the dead that I want to try. They say that by setting a bouquet down the river, your feelings will reach those that have departed. This is my way of swearing an oath to both of them. That will make it through this war no matter what. And that will work toward turning Arbonia into a country where the innocent have no need to suffer anymore. If only. Changing an entire country sounds impossible, but... You know what that... What, Machias? Part of me feels like we could pull it off. If we can make it through this, there's no limit to what we can do, to what we can change. Really think so? I'm glad you feel the same I do. I'm sure your cousin and the market manager are watching over us too. So let's make sure not to disappoint them. <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. Watch me, you two. With class of them by my side, I'll make sure to fulfill this vow I've given. Reed and Maki stood in respectful silence as they watched the bouquet float into the distance. Once it was completely out of view, they walked back to the barrier hard. Anger. We can't let the people of Kel uh, uh, the people of Kel countless sacrifices go to waste. So what it takes, let's change this nation and give it a brighter future. Right. Toa. Oh, is something wrong? Oh, it's no, it's nothing. I was just thinking about Berea Hard finally being freed from the Duke's clutches and end up spaced out. You know how when you finish something you're really nervous about and all the exhaustion washes over you at once? That's what I'm going through. But don't worry about me. I'll be back on the ship by the time everyone else is. The more she tells us not to worry, the more worried I get. I wonder if she needs to talk to someone. Uh, mind if I sit with you for a while? That's a, there, there's a really nice breeze here, so I figured it'd be a good spot to relax. Oh? Sure, go ahead. I don't want to sound pushy here, but, well, if you have something on your mind, Toa, I'm more than willing to listen. Huh? I realize I might not be able to offer any real help, but... You've done so much for everyone and me personally, both at Forza and on the Courageous. <laughs> That's why I want to do whatever I can for you in return. That's really sweet of you, Reen. Huh, <laughs> thanks. Tell the truth, I'm not really sure if I'm the best fit to be the Courageous' captain anymore. Part of me wishes I declined back when Viscount Arsade asked me. Can I ask why? Well, we managed to set Berea Hard free and we have Duke Albrea arrested, right? But when you think about it, that won't do much to ease the pain for those in Keldic. It won't bring back those we've lost either. And it's not just that. Think back to when Fiona was taken hostage or what happened with Angie. In the end, I just stood there uselessly waiting for you guys to solve everything. Oh well, having the courageous at our disposal too. That's why I can't help but wonder what a more capable captain would have been able to accomplish. Have you been bottling this stuff up all this time? He's sorry for unloading on you. I promised myself I'd be a much stronger person, yet here I am fretting over every little thing. I'm really not suited to be your captain at all, am I?
Ah, the hat. Phew. Thanks for getting it back for me, but still. Trust me when I say your worries couldn't be further from the truth. I can't think of a single person more suited to be our captain than you. But Reen. In the end, we're still students. We don't have the kind of experience Pr Prince Oliver and Viscount Arce do. There's no way anyone expects you to be able to do what they can. But despite that, you took it upon yourself to accept such a crucial position in Viscount Arce's place. You're doing everything you can to fulfill that role, even when you're just a student. <laughs> Seeing you work like that is what's inspired all of us, you know? We wouldn't be the same team without you. That's not your- Huh? I'm certain that everything we've done so far is bringing us one step closer to taking back our school. Accomplishing that will probably be our biggest challenge yet, though. And that's exactly why we need you. Having you alongside us is the greatest motivation we could ever ask for. Of course, we have no intention of letting this be one-sided. We'll be there for you as much as you're for us. You mean it, Reen? Boy, you're awfully convincing, huh? You're right, we should be using our worries as a means to better ourselves, shouldn't we? Hey, I'm such a dummy for forgetting something as simple as that. Hey, we all have our moments. It won't be long before we can finally take back fours. We're gonna go all out and make it a reality, right? Right. Thanks for the talk, Reen. I might not be much of a captain yet, but I'll keep working at it. Better I get, the sooner we can take back our academy. <laughs> Last but not least... Where is she? Oh, there she is. It would seem they're about to hold mass over at the cathedral. I'm thinking of sneaking in kind of incognito, but... Hmm, something the matter? It's nothing. Just pretend I didn't say anything. Oh, and try to get some rest, Reen. You must be exhausted. She seems like she's got something on her mind. Will you mind if I joined you, Your Highness? I'd feel much more at ease if I at least ex escort you to the cathedral. Just as a precaution, of course. Will you, Reen? Hey, thank you so much for your concern. Shall I be off then? <laughs> Seeing Beret Hart's cathedral up close is always breathtaking. You've been to Beret Hart before, haven't you? <clears throat> That's right, I have a number of noble acquaintances that are here even. <clears throat> Speaking of which, today's mass seems to have attracted more of them than usual. Looks like it's intended as an occasion to mourn the losses suffered by Keldic. Oh. Judging by all those, the people I saw go in, it'll probably be a fairly large event. So it seems, I plan to attend as well, to offer my prayers to the market manager. But... <clears throat> no, it's nothing. Let's go inside, Reen. And so Reen and Princess Alphen entered the cathedral to attend the mass currently being held. Of course, they were careful to sit behind the majority of attendees to avoid standing out. However, during the sermon... I'm sure you've all heard of now, uh, by now of the terrible tragedy that took place in Celtic recently. In light of this, let's offer up our prayers for the people there. May deals be with them all. Rest in peace, Otto. What's going to happen from, uh, to us from here on out? Huh? I can't believe they actually arrested Duke Alberea. Not to mention the fact that we've been removed from the Noble Alliance's jurisdiction. But why though? I see no reason to accept the Imperial Army when our own army is still intact. Duke Alberea certainly has made a muck of things this time. Race people for real? Aren't we supposed to be mourning for the people of Keldic? In the same place for self-pity, and sure as hell isn't now. Besides, Kellick was uh, surely Kellick was partly to blame for what happened too. No, I heard all about the belligerent attitude towards Duke Alberea. Yet he was arrested simply for teaching them a lesson. 
Disgraceful, I know, I, I know. The beloved Empire certainly has been on the decline these past couple of years. I can't take much more of this. <coughs> Just who in the world do you think you people are? Huh? Who dares to raise their voice during Holy Mass? Wait, I know a face. Princess Elfin. Hmm. How could you make light of what happened in Keldic? Do you genuinely believe it's none of your concern that Keldic deserve its fate? Or is this how you treat your fellow Erebonians? Don't you realize that by putting aside such social labels, this tragedy could have been prevented? Your Highness. Maybe I'm not one to talk. I may have shared the same sentiments as you. Uh, uh, I may have shared the same sentiments as you all. How I continue to live my cozy life in Heimdall. I would have done well other than pity them without making an attempt to truly understand the gravity of the matter. In the end, it would have just been another event on the long list of things to eventually forget. But please, I beg of you, please realize that where they are noble commoner, every life matters. The people who suffer in Keldic, who lost their lives because of this war, are no less important than any of us. Each and every one of them lived a life of their own and had a future ahead of them until it was ripped away. Your Highness. <laughs> Your Highness. Reen. So please, ask anyone in disagreement with the Duke's arrest to go see Kelly for themselves. If that's not enough to convince you his arrest by, was the right thing to do, then by all means bring your complaints to me. I swear in the Arnor household that I will listen to every single one of you in earnest. <laughs> After Princess Alvin's speech, they left the cathedral that had turned deathly quiet. From there, Reed escorted her, escorted her back to the airport. The entire way, she struggled to hold back her tears. Sniffle, thank you, Reed. I've gotten a hold of myself now. Oh, how embarrassing it is to act out like that during a holy mess. I'm sure my brother would have been able to handle that situation much better. Prince Albert would have handled that in his own way, sure. That doesn't make your actions any less worthy of respect, however. You don't think it was too much? I mean, I mean it when I say that speech hit very close to home. That's why I'm sure some of the nobles there must have been impacted the same way. If anything, I say you've made me feel more proud to be a member of the imp Empire than ever before. Did I? Ah. I'm sure when this war comes to an end, your words will be able to reach even more people, too. Until then, all we can do is keep fighting. Sniffle, he... Thank you, Reen. Hearing you say that is such a relief. Uh, happy to help, your highness. Let's just focus on what we can... Uh, what we can do for... Uh, doing what we can for now, okay? Please don't forget we're all here to support you. Thank you. After Reen escorted Princess Alvin back to Courageous, he headed back to town. Okay, she's now on the Courageous and no more bonding. I think I see someone imp so important. Why can't you understand, Father? All I want is to join my schoolmates on the Courageous. Which is precisely why I'm opposed. You're a daughter of the nobility. You can't go off gallivanting at a time like this. This is exactly the time to go. Maybe if you weren't so thick-headed, you'd understand that. Thick-headed? How dare you use such language towards your own father? Looks like Parisia is busy at the moment. I can try it again once I've met up with the rest of the gang. Welcome. Are you all planning on resting today? I can only imagine how exhausted you must be after all that's happened. Allow me to be so bold as to request that you all stay by Lord Eustace's side as much as possible as well. Well, they were never on good terms, having to arrest his own father must have hurt him more than he's laying on. We'd be honored to, sir. Anything interesting here? Not really.
Anything here? Let's see, there's that pianist from before. Alright, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.